Pope Francis did not really wear this designer Balenciaga coat, and former President Donald Trump was not photographed running from the police. These fake images were created with software using generative artificial intelligence. Deepfakes are already part of the 2024 U.S. presidential campaign. With this video from Trump opponents showing him hugging former White House chief medical advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci, with whom he was often at odds during the COVID-19 pandemic. And widely published. The misinformation debunking show Verify determined that three of the images are fake. If you look more closely at the pictures, you can see more evidence they're AI generated. This one shows the two men standing in front of the White House decal in the press briefing room. But the decal, instead of saying White House, it says MeFap. Deep fakes in political advertising alarm the nonprofit consumer advocacy organization Public Citizen, where Lisa Gilbert is executive vice president. Uh, one of the things that artificial intelligence is able to do, uh, particularly generative AI, uh, is create easily deep fakes. So, you know, video or audio uh, that looks incredibly real, you know, impossible to discern with the naked eye from a real video. Public Citizen asked the U.S. Federal Election Commission to make rules for campaign ads that use computer-generated uh, images. Uh, but the commission I, I said that was not within its jurisdiction. There is little legal infrastructure for policing deepfakes, says Cornell Law Professor of Digital and Information Law, James Grimmelman. And the Supreme Court has actually also made it pretty clear that it's quite difficult for them to regulate anything except the most egregiously false and harmful speech. He expects the use of deepfakes in political campaigns will grow and it'll be very hard to trace the specifics of who created them. There is currently legislation in Congress that would require political advertisements to state if generative AI was used. Dina Mitchell for VOA News.